So is it a good idea to have multiple sets of feature engineer data sets in case of conflicting or multiple overlapping features? What's a good way to handle such situations? Great question, Mani. Thanks for asking that. Yeah, so it is actually um, uh, quite common, uh, commonly observed where there are adjacent use cases. My other use case just differs by these three features, right, from the previous one. Um, what we have um, ended up doing in all of these cases is uh, doing a multi-step feature engineering. So you can either, uh, if the available feature set works directly for your use case, use it. If it is not uh, appropriate, go one level deeper and uh, the, the previous level of uh, featured uh, uh, data set you, you can use. And we have typically about, um, uh, before the end user sees the final features uh, output, we have uh, partially computed information at least at five levels. So you can go to the fourth level or the third level. And sometimes uh, people go all the way to the first level if the information uh, needs to be, we, we need to crawl the raw data again and get some additional information. It happens very commonly with, you know, for example, the click streams where we know that we, we need one more attribute from the click stream that needs to be propagated through the entire system. So the uh, money, the, the uh, answer is uh, at least uh, what we have ended up doing is that um, plan for a multi-level. Yeah, every use case starts with whichever is the level that uh, works out best for me and then build from there to avoid uh, rebuilding. Great, 